All right, so I just got in my California Custom uh, aluminum deoxidizer and purple metal polish. Um, I'm going to try it out, as you saw on the, earlier in this video. I tried the uh, Mother's Mag aluminum polish and a Powerball, and I had to do the other fender three times. As you can see, it's quite a bit of tarnish on this diamond tread. nothing around but we'll see okay hi trying to give you a good look here uh, before you get started you got two little rubber stoppers take them out now I, you see me wearing a glove and it's mostly for this deoxidizing um, solution here and it's one of the things I read is what uh, caution harmful is swallowed and in case of contact immediately flush plenty of water to avoid contact with eye, skin, or clothing. So, um, I got um, out of my stash nitro gloves, a uh, glove there. And we're going to do like it said in the instructions, we're going to oop, spill it everywhere. But uh, we're going to put a little bit on the rag and we're going to do a spot here. And it's supposed to it look like right there where it got everywhere, it hazed up. But for some reason, this cloth is not not absorbing it's kind of going everywhere but yeah this I can still see it starting to haze up right here and we're just for right now we're just going to kind of put it out there but it's getting a good white haze I got a polishing pad. Some of it is hazed up more than others, and I just don't know if it's because of that bag. Now, one of the things that this stuff separates really easy, I just forgot to shake it up. Make sure you shake it up. Now there, it's got some liquid paste. We're just going to sit there and rub it in right here. Now, I'm going to do a circular motion on this diamond tread, and then I'm going to go with the tread in both directions and kind of just work it in a little bit I already see it looks like it's working a whole lot better than that mag polish did and then obviously it's where it's the pad blackens out I'm going to let it set a little bit and we're going to take my blue rag here and we'll give it a quick white. I have to say it did shine it up a lot faster. Looks a lot shinier than I will say that there is some tarnish marks. This stuff is actually feels like it's heating up. There's some tarnish marks right in here and I'll see it see those tarnish marks are still there and I don't know if it's because I gotta put some more of that deoxidizer on it but it uh essentially took all the cloudiness up you see you get a little reflection there of the screen so and I'm gonna keep cleaning on this a little more but I have to say that that was uh probably a good investment I appreciate fish on forte putting everybody on it probably you get a little bit of better elbow grease so I can get these tarnish marks out um, the other thing I might do is take a scrub brush and the deoxizer and kind of work it in because that might be just pitted spots in the diamond tread but uh, here in a minute I'll do another shot and see if, how it does on the frame of the trailer I think it'll have the same results as uh, this diamond tread does and with that I hope you enjoyed this video um, and we'll catch you later. This is the side I did with the California Custom. 
you see it's pretty good it was a little bit of tarnish still there but still real glossy now this is the side i did with the mother's mag a little bit less pit but it's incon i will say it's probably more inconsistent on the gloss up closer to the the boat where i couldn't get the power ball in definitely more work um but it does have some parts in there where it's got some pitting like right there however you get closer up here less of it and i think that all goes with effort um i did that with the power ball and it looks uh, uh looks pretty now good here's the eye beam i did with the california custom and it doesn't look as good obviously because i think some of this corrosion was deeper down and you needed the effort of the power ball to uh get to it so um it is what it is on that part but it's glossed it's glossed over pretty well so you probably just in glancing through to uh at the ramp you wouldn't see it